everyone. So today I'm going to go over my January tending and how I feel like I've done in January as well as talk about my February goals and some things that ended up coming from January over to February. So let's get into it. So to recap some of the things I went through in January, I didn't complete some things, but that's because I let them go. I felt like they were not serving me in this period of time, and some of the things I may try again. For example, I was doing a 21-day manifestation challenge, and at one day I kind of just dropped off because I didn't feel called to it anymore. It was We were doing a little bit of something each day. I'm going to restart that probably in March and I'm going to go through it completely on my own. It was with a group but I felt like there was just too much noise for me in that group and I just I didn't vibe with everything that was going on. I'm not saying that group was bad. It was just a lot of like noise for me. It's the best way I can describe it. So I'm going to I'm glad it, you know, went through and all of the videos and all of the activities are now loaded. It was kind of dripped for the 21 days. So I'm going to actually take that into March and do 21 days in March by myself with the activities and everything like that. So that's one thing around the beginning. Let's say I only did maybe a week and then I just decided not to. Um, the next thing is... I didn't do my hand lettering course every day after a certain point, so I need to get back into the habit, and I do want to. That didn't go into my February tending list because I wanted to be a little slower with it. I may do something a few times a week, but as of right now, I didn't put it back on for, like, an everyday thing. I did do the clothing swap, and it was really fun. I got a few pieces of clothing, and I even got, like, a necklace, but I was very excited to get some books that I got, so that was fun. I did a podcast guest interview and actually as of the day that I'm recording this today is January 27th and it came out today so if you want to check that out I'm going to put the link down below and you can check out my interview and she's actually my life coach so it was a really nice interview I loved every minute of it and I'm really glad that it's now out there in the world I was in a Facebook live summit so I did do that and that is actually also shared to my business page me and Jason did have two date nights. They weren't like fully intentional date nights, but they were date nights. And I initially wrote social media scheduling for February, but I also did March. So everything's pretty much scheduled until March or created for the end of March. So I won't have to revisit that again until March. I, instead of decluttering my office, I probably cluttered my office. Let's, let's be real there. I kind of destroyed it a little bit, but I'll fix it again. <laughs> I'm still kind of like nesting in my desk, so I haven't got to the point that I really like it. And the next thing was a big thing. I did have sign three clients, but I'm going to actually take a step back and, well, two, two main things. One, I think, and this is where you learn things, when you put something like that, you forget the steps before it. So I should have put consults on there or, you know, reaching out to people or something like that instead of straight signing. So... That I do need to work on. The weekly action, I mostly did meal plan, give or take. It was like the, the fourth week that I kind of didn't. Meal prep, I was doing pretty good. <laughs> I actually kept trying to cook chili for myself, like batch cook it. And Jason really loved it. And he, one night, I think he ate like four bowls. I mean, there were like two scoops at each. But, I mean, it's really good chili. So, can't really be mad at him for that. At least it was eaten. Other than that, it's been pretty, going pretty good, Yeah. I have been checking in with my budget planner once a week. Um, every now and then I'll do like a midweek. I did do 30 minutes of studying for my spiritual path about once a week at least, but I also did more on days that I felt like I wanted to do more. My IG stories, I would say I kind of let that kind of go in and out so it wasn't a constant thing. I put three times a week. There are some weeks I didn't do any. I may have posted something, but it wasn't like a video. And I did do Postmates to get out of the house. And yeah, I, oh, that's what me and Jason did. We actually use Postmates for a date night because it's fun. We just I end up in random places, so it's pretty fun. For my daily action items, I have been walking every day for one mile, except one day I did miss, but the next day I walked two miles. So very proud of that. My 60 ounces of water, um, for the majority of it, I think like 90% of it, I was doing that every day. Every now and then I miss, especially those days that we didn't have a water filter. But I've been drinking a good amount of water. I've been reading every day. And journaling, I missed a few days. 
so I need to catch up. I think I missed the last like three days, but otherwise I've been doing pretty good there too. And my practice lettering, again, that was, that kind of dropped off at some point because I wasn't doing it every day at some point last week. I stopped. So I need to get back into the habit of that or figure out a routine of that. So that's all to show that not everything you put on there may happen. Not everybody, everything you put on there may happen the way you want to because you may have missed some building blocks to actually get to that point and that's completely fine and there's some things that you put on there that you want to do and while you're doing them you realize it's not the good time to do it right now and that's okay too so have grace with yourself you know don't just push 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 when it's something that's not really working for you so just keep that in mind I'm gonna go over my month in review as well I know I said it was the 27th already and it's not quite the end of the month but I have a feel for the month already and I actually did this review while I went to a meetup that I hosted in Burbank California so if you're interested and you're in the LA area I do have a Los Angeles power sheets group I'll post the link down below if you're anywhere within Los Angeles even if you're in the OC you can join I'm going to be planning to do more in person at least once a month and in person most likely in Burbank maybe Pasadena somewhere on there um, or also in San Fernando, as well as I have virtual meetups. So people come in, we kind of co-work together. If anybody has any questions, otherwise we could just pretty much hang out online together if we can't get somewhere. Especially right now, people are kind of sick, so they don't want to get other people sick. So virtual things are great for that. <laughs> so what I'm grateful for is my body's ability to start walking again. And actually, the other day, part of my walking was actually jogging. So I actually jogged a little bit another day and that's when I fully decided that I want to try the couch to 5k but instead of I think it's jog and jog jog and run after like the second week I can't remember I'm gonna do just literally wherever it said to jog I'm gonna probably jog wherever it says to walk I'm gonna walk and then when it transitions to jog and run I'm gonna keep it jog equals walk run equals jog. <laughs> so I'm not going to be running. I'm going to be walking and jogging the whole time. And I've done five to couch five couch to 5k before. However, um, if I, w I remember there was at least one time I was pretty out of shape and I got really frustrated with it because I put too much expectation on myself. So what I'm going to do is if I clear a week, I clear the week. If I don't clear the week, I'm going to go back and start that week over again. So it won't be that entire program that I'm doing like week by week. I will only progress this is what I'm telling myself. I will only progress if I completed everything that they said to do that week. So if there was one day that I just couldn't do the program and I just went for a walk, then technically that's going to start that week over again. And I'm going to be okay with that because that's, I need to start slow. Goals that are growing well. So the top two are definitely social and being creative. I've been pretty much a social butterfly this month. I've been out way more often than I ever have. And I've been not only out physically, but I've been out virtually. So I've been doing quite good there. Creative, I would say that's also a really good thing that's happening. I have a hand lettering. I have been playing more with my stickers and my planners and all of that. So that's been very good for me. And then I put physical too, um, because even though my goal is to lose 10 pounds in the next three months, and then, you know, overall I have one for the year, I haven't lost weight. I've been kind of like pretty much like this and I've been pretty much still the same weight I still kind of get back to the same weight and that's okay I'm okay with that I know this is going to be kind of hard especially because I'm coming from having like a whole year or so of doing nothing and having pretty much a trash system so I'm okay with that however I'm really proud of the fact that I am walking every day I'm actually to the point that I crave to walk every day I'm going to be going for a walk after this video so I really 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 do think I'm doing well there except it's not showing technically on the weight side of it, which is fine. That will come, and I know it will come, and I trust that I'm exactly where I need to be with that right now. Someone I'm grateful for. Now, it has two boxes for that. So the two people I put that I'm grateful for is, one, Jason, because he's been very patient with my pivoting in my career, and he's been very, very supportive. Actually, I'll show this. He got this for me the other day. It is a little bear, and it has a four-leaf clover, and basically he's wishing me, like, luck and prosperity and everything in my business, and it, I got a really cute card with it, but I don't know if he wants me to share that, so I won't share that, but so cute. It's so soft, <laughs> but he's been great. Um, my next one that I'm grateful for is my buddy coach. We'll link her Instagram down below. She went through the coaching certification with me, and she was paired up with me as my buddy coach, and I don't know, we just, we 
we get along so well. I'm so glad that she was my buddy coach. It was perfect. So I'm very grateful for her. Things that I'm choosing grace over guilt about. I've touched upon this already, but my 21 day challenge or manifestation challenge, my hand lettering course, I was doing a 32 day like business reboot. I kind of just went kind of off track with that too. And the whole um, goal of signing a specific number of clients. I am giving myself grace over that because of the different reasons that they either fell off, I let go, or other things came into focus that I need to focus on a lot more. Progress that I'm celebrating, being social, for sure, and walking every day. So those are the main things. Favorite memory from this month, me and Jason walked around a lake. It Lake Balboa we walked around the whole lake and I loved it because when I was pulling a positive memory with my coach a little less than a year ago almost a year tomorrow in there my favorite memory was walking around a lake when we first got together so that was one of my first favorite like the memory that pulled very quickly so when we were able to walk around the lake I really loved it first of all I just I love water I love nature and I love being with him so it was perfect <laughs> A good lesson I learned. I need to focus on the steps before certain bigger projects, which is funny because I help people do that all the time. But you know, it's hard with yourself. That's why coaches have coaches. <laughs> um, so I need to focus on the more micro steps to get me to the more larger goals and, and be okay with myself when, you know, I messed up or I changed directions. I'm saying no to exhausting myself working with what I'm not aligned with. And this is actually interesting because I was going to be in somebody's group for a I was going to be a, um, either a keynote speaker or a breakout session for someone's group and she sent me her information lovely lady lovely group lovely like everything's fine it just didn't align with my message and everything so I just decided to decline it and to give it to someone else that I better aligned with so instead of just grabbing everything I'm very much analyzing to see if it aligns with what I'm doing and moving forward I'm saying yes to joyful movement. Now, this was actually a phrase given by one of the lovely ladies that were at my meetup, and she said joyful movement. I'm like, that's perfect. I love it. That's my thing, too, because I'm walking. I'm starting to jog. I even, like, was dancing in the middle of my living room house the other day, so that's perfect. So that's what I went with. So now I want to give you a rundown of my February attending list. It is not decorated yet. All I did was write in it, if you can see here literally just written I, I do need to decorate it but what I normally do is about the 24 25 26 somewhere around there is I create it and then I start like honing it in so if I need to color code anything or if I want to figure anything out I do that but let me just run through my monthly weekly and daily action items and let you know what came over from January. I'm going to create and launch my signature program for my coaching. I am a life and business coach for women entrepreneurs and I'm creating an eight-week course I basically have the bonuses done and I just want to make sure that course is ready to go, at least for the beta clients that are going to go through it the first time. And I'm working with my own coach, um, not the one I did a podcast with. I have a business coach and she's helping me making sure that my messaging is aligned and everything. So that is one big goal for the month. Podcasting through you. I'm going to be in another podcast February 4th. And so I want to prepare for the interview, have the interview, and then um, depending on if she posts it that month, then I'll market it. Nurture and sign three beta clients. So I specifically put nurture because I don't want to just put sign three beta clients. No. Nurture and sign. So if two of them are still being nurtured and the end of the month happens, that's fine. If all three of them are signed, great. If, you know, whatever combination of that there is. And these are my beta clients for my signature program, specifically, actually. If I sign clients that are general coaching, like a 12-week one hour a week session that's different but I want to focus on my signature program again it's two date nights I want to kind of keep that on here for at least this quarter so me and Jason have that time together and we you know I don't just like blow off somewhere and then you know we just don't have date nights I, we, we need them I think everybody should have at least one but I put two. Oh, this one's big my mom invited me to a 5k that we normally did every year but I wasn't able to last year and I can't remember the year before it's a 5k at Dodger Stadium and it's for breast cancer I just can't remember I think it's Coleman for the cure but I'm not actually sure but it is a 5k so it is the 29th of February it's the last of the month so 
I'm going to be basically using the Couch to 5K to kind of train me to get to that point. I think I can walk a 5K now. I believe for the people who are coming, we're not running it. We're not jogging it. We're just walking it. So I think I should be okay. But I want to make sure that I'm working up toward that too. So that I want to do at least one or two 5Ks before that day and see how I feel. Um, it's in the morning, so it's pretty cooler outside. And I notice when it's cooler, I can definitely go a lot longer than when it's warmer. There was one day that it was warmer. I had to cut the walk short because I was feeling a little dizzy and I realized it was because I got a little too hot and I didn't bring water with me. So that's what I'm learning with my body, trying to figure out the ebbs and flows of it, what affects me, what can I do, what can I do when something affects me, etc. Post for YouTube videos. I pretty much am close to this goal because I've been kind of creating videos ahead of time so everything's kind of gonna be scheduled but I won't mark it off until they're posted. So basically that's four YouTube videos. Three topics in my spiritual notebook. I have happy notes and that's where I've been writing all my like spiritual notes and creating kind of like references pages and everything like that. So I want it to be less like just read every <laughs> once a week or something. I want it to be much more intentional. So I'm going to basically do three topics. I wrote basically a brain dump all the things I want to learn about and what I want to write about and what I want to get references of. So I'm going to pick three topics and then add those pages in. Two meetup and social events. I'm trying to think. I probably already have those. So I have the 5k which is technically a social event because it'll be my mom and I think Jason wants to come. I'm not sure but I most of the time my mom's sisters come. So yeah. The other one is I'm going to have another meetup in February. I'm just trying to figure out which day is probably the 22nd of February to do another meetup for power sheets. So again, if you want to join that and you're in the LA area, it's most likely will be in Burbank. That's probably going to be on February 22nd. So click the link down below about the group if you want to learn more, if you want to join, and if you're in the LA area. And then organize desk. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have this for the entire quarter. I really need to organize a desk. So I put organize desk and in parentheses I put break down into steps because I think since this is just a catch-all I need to like break it down and be like I'm going to be working on this side then I'm going to be working on this side then I blah blah I need to work on my paperwork like literally break it down it's what I need to do. My weekly action items so I started this in January it wasn't on my January attending but I wanted to put it in February especially because February is Valentine's Day so self-love date nights once a week. I typically have been doing them on Friday but I may move them to either Saturday or Sunday or doesn't matter to me as long as it's within that week and it's once a week. And what I have been doing, which I really, really love, is basically I've been taking a bath with, because I have tons of bath bombs I've collected. Bath bomb, I have herbs, I light candles, I have tea, I'm listening to a book, or I'm reading a book, or I'm listening to a meditation. So that's kind of what I do, and then afterwards I have a really good meal. I don't like eating before I take a bath, I just, I just don't. So I have a really good meal, and then I kind of just relax, like, I don't work. I do basically whatever I want to do. If I want to read a book, I'll read a book. If I want to binge on Netflix for a show I'm watching, then I'll do that. So it's whatever I want to do. And also that includes if I want to go out. So I've done this before where I basically take myself out on a date and I love it. Basically, it's just me eating whatever I want, doing whatever I want, and I love it. So that includes staying in or going out. It's whatever date night I create for myself that week. And then also to get out of the house, I put at least three Postmates I didn't mean to write run. That's good. I write with a friction pen. Uh, three Postmates delivery. So once I hit my three deliveries, then I can go home unless I feel like doing more. Couch to 5K. And I've explained that before, you know, just kind of doing the program every week. And if I need to restart the week for the next week, then I'll do that again. For my eat clean, last month I had it five times a week. I pretty much rarely hit that. I think I skipped that when I first was talking about it. I think I did. I went from meal prep to check in with budget planner. Yeah, according to this, I did it once. <laughs> uh, there was plenty of times where I hit four. Uh, there's plenty of times where I hit three, but sometimes it just, yeah. So basically I don't give myself a check mark if I eat processed food that is considered junk. So I'm vegan. I eat junk food, which is what I do sometimes because I feel like it, but I really want to make strides to eating cleaner on Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the days that I really blow it off because Jason's home and we tend to get like Del Taco or Taco Bell or something <laughs> but 
I moved it down from five days to three days to make it more achievable for myself. That's another thing you have to keep in mind. When you are working on something, if you you could you should put something a little bit outside of your comfort zone, but don't just completely fly off of it. It's not gonna help and you're gonna feel defeated. I didn't feel defeated because I didn't put that much expectation on myself. Past Christy, like last year, would have felt defeated and be like, I can't do this. No, it was just a learning moment. I realized that I need to start slower. So three times a week seems like a good compromise. Two times a week seem, seem like kind of like an easy out for me. Five days was obviously too difficult for me at this point. And so I just went kind of in the middle. I was going to pick like four, but whatever. I went with three. That's a good number for me. So three days I have to eat clean. The only things I don't include in the eating clean technically is my creamer for my tea. That's about it. But otherwise, you know, no fast food, uh, no Oreos, you know, things like that on those days. And the next is I continue on the budget planner check-in and that honestly may stay there for at least the first two quarters of the year. So probably until July, but I'll probably do a, a refresh too. So it's budget planner and in parentheses it's personal and business. And to me, I know what that means. Personal is probably going to be all in here. Um, but the business one, I also, I'm going to be checking my QuickBooks, making sure everything's up to date, make, making sure everything is where it needs to be and labeled correctly and everything like that. Elevate coaching program. So that is the coach that I signed up with. Um, her name is Sandra Fidelis. I might have got her name wrong, her last name, but her name is Sandra. She has a coaching program that I'm going through. It's eight weeks. So it's going to be all of February and I think two weeks of March because I started last week. So I want to go through that. The Unstoppable program with Lindsay. She's my life coach. I know I have, I have two coaches, but Lindsay is my life coach. I started with last year and I've been through her Unstoppable program before, except this time I'm going to go on it kind of, it's a live. So she's going to kind of do prompts and everything in her group, but I'm not going to be in the group calls. It's just going to be me working on the worksheets and working out things that I need to work out. She has options to upgrade um, to one-on-ones if we need it or a, um, I think one-on-one 15 minute call every week. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that or if I might just book in when I need her. Most likely I'm probably just gonna work through it right in the group and go from there. And with that, I I wanna go through all of it at during, you know, the moment of this Christy, because last year Christy was working through a lot of things, and this year has a different set of things that may come up that I didn't even think about last time. So that's why I'm doing it again. I want to just kind of keep helping myself up level and remove things that I don't need. And learn for the things that happened before. That's probably the key point that I want to do. I want to bring up the things maybe I'm slowly remembering from certain times and then actually pull out the lessons from there. Oh, this is another thing I want to do every week. This is mostly for my business. It is evaluate my week. Now I have this kind of like template of how to evaluate my week of how, you know, things went, you know, what I can do to be better. So I'm going to be doing that every week. I just need to create like a little template for myself because I want it to fit into my business happy planner. So I need one that's smaller. <laughs> so that's what I need to do. And then I'm going to be doing that every week for my daily action items. Instead of walk, I put one mile walk last um, in January. It was walk one mile. I changed it to cardio workout. So that's either walking or doing the 5K. So it was easy for me to write that. Then write black blah, 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 slash, blah, blah. So just go with cardio workout. I know what it means. <laughs> Read. That includes listening to books. So I know what that means too. But reading, I have tons of books from the library. I got more books from the clothing swap. It was It was like a... Yeah, it was closing and stuff. And I got more books there. So basically read every day and journal every day. And then I also, I added this time around to check in with my planner. So I need to touch all of my planners <laughs> at least like once a day to see, you know, am I doing it today? Literally, it could be just, I grab it, I look, I have nothing, I close it. Or I grab it, I look, I write, and I work on it. So I want to touch my planners once a day, essentially. Added on here, it wasn't on last month. I think it was on the month before. I put meditate because I kind of fell off. I was doing, I'm, I'm doing it about four or five times a week, but I really want to do it every day. So I put meditate um, and it's going to be at least, like the bare minimum that I do is using my Fitbit. There's a breathing app on here and there's a two minute and a five minute and uh, the bare minimum is two minutes. That or I sit down and listen to a song 
Um, but otherwise, I could do longer ones that are 30, 40, 50 minute long. That's fine too. But I want you to meditate every day, either that two minute <laughs> or even minute, um, all the way up to that hour. So that's what I wrote on there. I mean, I think that's it. I Mine is pretty full, but that's because I try to get everything out of my head. If you're new to power sheets, know that you don't need to fill the whole thing. You can write like three things in a monthly, two things in the weekly, and three things on the daily. It literally just randomly said numbers. You don't need to have a certain amount. You put whatever you're working on, whatever you want to focus on, whatever you need support in the accountability with power sheets of marking it off, you can write that on there. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you're in LA, please join the group. If you're not in LA, but you still have questions about this, you could message me on my Instagram at good things indeed. And I would love to help you out if you're new to power sheets and you're just not sure how to break things down or just want to help with your goal setting. Um, just message me there and I will respond as soon as possible, either with an actual like type message or I've been using voice notes a lot because it's easy when I'm kind of walking around and just talk to you. <laughs> so those are your two options if you want any help with any of this. And if you also would like to take, you know, a questionnaire of your life balance of where you are now, and this is just for you, these are worksheets, it's free. I will put that link down below too. It's a life balance worksheet. I believe I mentioned it somewhere in one of my videos before. You can go ahead and download that for free and kind of check in to see where you are. Anyway, if you have any other questions, please let me know. If you liked this video, give it a like, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified for more videos. Have a good one. Bye.